Good morning, Bongo. Oh, hello there. This is Bongo here. Yeah, I, I'm at the Happy Day Stay Retreat. Uh, Miss Annie's wake me up and says that they're talking about what happened to me back in 78. That's why I'm here. Where are you exactly? Ha- Happy Day Happy Days Stay's Retreat, like a sanitarium. Okay. I was bringing a, a, a new vehicle down, brand new vehicle down from Balada, heading towards... Narrabri in 1978, in September it was, 78, and heading for Tamworth, and I I missed the turn-off out of Narrabri to go to, to Gunnedah, and I kept going, and I didn't know where I was going, and I saw these old mileage pegs on the side of the road, they'd been like painted over in those days, and I thought the engraver in it was a G, like for Gunnedah, but in actual fact they were a C for, turned out to be Coonda Barabran. Right, OK. And about halfway along the road sort of thing, I started to get a bit concerned. The fuel was running pretty low, and in the distance I, I, I saw a what turned out to be, a, in those days, a telecom van heading my way. So I got out of the way, waved him down. It was pretty late in the afternoon, not just, just before dusk it was. Anyway, pulled up and I... He cracked the window down just a frightened little bit. And I said, look, I don't know where I am. Can you tell me where I am, mate? And, and he said, yeah, he said, you're, you're, you're in the middle of the Pilliga. Do you, do you know where that is? I said, no, never heard of it. He said, "What's your problem?" I said, "I'm nearly out of fuel. I'm, what? Where? What? Can you tell me where I can get some fuel?" He said, "You're about the equal distance from here to Coonabarram and Narrabri. It'd be, it wouldn't matter." Anyway, I said, oh, "I'm nearly out of fuel. I'd never get back." I anyway asked him whether he was he was going to Narrabri and asked him whether he could ring the NRMA or when he got there or something to bring me out some fuel as I was a member. Yeah. And he said, oh, you won't get anyone to come out here after dark. And anyway, he didn't, un- he didn't explain why. But right. Anyway, so you were, you were stuck there? I ended up staying in this big old four-wheel drive all through the night and about oh, half past three, quarter to four. Um, this thing just fair started a rock and, and, and all these funny weird lights and that were getting around outside and I looked out and... What looks through the window at me is why well, I'm in this state today. He made he, he, he pulled the door off it off the off the hinges and he, he, this this thing like a, it's it it's, it, it, it defies the, the exp, you know, explanation. What a, it looked like it, it was it was horrific, and it it, it, it it took me through the bush a fair way. So it grabbed and, hold of you, and 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 we we ended up at this. I, I suppose you'd call it a, a, a humpy sort of a thing, and, and, and this thing had this thing had a real fetish, obviously for oh, real thin, bow-legged, knock-kneed, white, hairy legs. He had pairs of legs hanging up, and and when he realised that I, I, I was no good to him, he. He, he he took me back. He took me back to the edge of the road, whatever it was. I assume it was a he. If it was a she, there's something wrong in the world. But uh, and, what, what, and I, Bongo. And I, I never ever saw him again. And 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 a timber truck picked picked me up the the next morning when it went through. And he he took me to Coonabarabran, and it wasn't long after that I they made me stay at happy happy days happy days day retreat and I, I I've been here ever since. Bongo, that is just an amazing story. And Miss Annie and Miss Annie tells me apparently that there's some idiot out there in the middle of it somewhere last week or something or something attempting fate could uh, there's got to be something wrong with the person. Can you give us a, a if I don't, can't, not pushing you too hard, <laughs> what, what did it look like? 
I can't explain it. That was horrible. Pretty scary story there, Bongo, and thank you for that. Oh. And you look after yourself, OK? I'm going to pass your concerns on to Trev, who is our roving reporter, uh, Trevor Chapel and Anna Mulder, who we've got out there in the Pilliga scrub tonight. Bongo, thanks for your call, all right? You look after.